Surprise, surprise, Microsoft has done it again. After pushing updates that have caused blue screens, now Microsoft pushed an update that actually acted like ransomware and deleted your documents. I mean, more like a wiper because ransomware asks for Bitcoin, but maybe Satya Nadella is just too shy to ask for Bitcoin directly, so he just does this and expects you to pay. But anyway, jokes aside, this is a very serious issue. Sadly, there is no way for me to get this kind of news out in a timeline that actually makes sense to you. So if you're already affected, well, there's not much I can do. And if you're not affected, well, there's no reason to do anything because Microsoft has already realized the catastrophic implications and pulled back the update. However, there are lessons that we can learn from this, one of which being never join the insiders program. <laughs> Okay, I'll change that to don't join the insiders program on a production machine. I've made that mistake in the past myself, and I've paid dearly for it several times. Uh, like long time ago, when Microsoft fired their testing team, and people were like, um, that can't be a good thing, right? Well, it obviously wasn't. But coming back to the issue, I think it actually makes a lot of sense these days to delay your updates by a reasonable amount of time. Even the public releases, they're like beta level, and the insiders preview, they're just like alpha level stuff. I've had very serious issues and very simple ones as well that keep showing up in the insiders build, even on the stable insiders builds. The amount of QA and testing that you would expect on an operating system level is just not there with Microsoft. So this is not a one-time issue. It's probably going to happen again. It's clear that Microsoft really wants to use every possible user as a potential beta tester. It's free for them, right? Why not? <laughs> they have moved to that kind of a business model, whether you like it or not. I personally don't like it, but uh, what can you do? I'm not the CEO of Microsoft. I know this is probably going to tick off some like hardcore Microsoft fans in the community, but I've had absolutely horrendous experiences with Insiders Build. And the worst part is it's kind of like a trap. So once you get in, you really can't get out. There's no easy quit option. Once you become an insider and start going on insider builds, you can't just click a button and say, oh, just roll me back to the stable build. It won't do that. It'll tell you to wait until the next stable release and then just not update from there. But the way the automatic updates are configured, you will most likely miss the stable update and you will go straight to the next insider's build. So you're likely going to be stuck on the insider's builds until you actually completely reformat your system and reinstall Windows. Who needs malware when your operating system behaves like this, right? So with Windows 10, if you're using it on a production build, I mean, this was an issue with the official release, but um, just try to stay as far behind the updates as you can. I know a lot of you just keep suggesting, hey, there's this new feature, why don't you test it out? And half of the time that feature is in the insider's preview build. And because of that, I personally tried joining the insider's previews and I tried testing those builds. It's what I found is that you do not want to do that, not on your main system. I know a lot of you are doing that on your main system. I'm guessing you don't have anything important that you do with your computer, but if you do, I would strongly recommend you do not um, put insiders previews. Microsoft is screwing things up in the official release. You do not want to be ahead of the curve in terms of getting screwed. I just felt like this was a very important message because security is about reliability and having your data, right? It doesn't matter whether it's taken away by malware, a faulty update, lack of QA, it's all the same for the user. So once again, build 1809 was rolled back because on some systems, it actually deleted user documents. I don't know if there's a way to retrieve them. I don't know if Microsoft is going to do anything to compensate those users, probably not. It's probably in their TNC that they don't have to care. Luckily for me personally, since everyone's sharing their stories about what happened to them, I just got a new system. So I had a full backup of every document and I hadn't even copied them over to the new system. So my documents folder was essentially empty when the new build came out. Lucky me, right? Let me know your experiences in the comments below if you had any horrible nightmarish scenarios where you had your assignment the next day and Windows just decided to delete it and you're just scratching your head trying to figure out what happened and how your documents got deleted. I'm really sorry about that. But there's probably not much you can do about it at this point, but just take a lesson, move on. I personally find it absolutely shocking that something like this would happen on Windows 10 with so many users on it, so many businesses on it. Um, all I can say is maybe move to enterprise. Those have slightly more stable builds. Set your updates to 
be slightly behind the curve so you get the new update after maybe seven or ten days i think you can do that in windows i know there'll be people who will say switch to linux switch to mac os x but let's face it that's not the point the point is for people who need to use windows for whatever reason like me and uh, pretty much most of us who have a life <laughs> Ooh, more hate in the comments. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel. This is Leo. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.